Hello YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave. I have another Silver Age Dave tip of the day coming at you. Uh, today I'm wearing the same shirt. That's because I'm making videos like a madman, feeling great. Uh, and this tip of the day, ha I'll just stick that there I guess. Heck. Um, this tip of the day has to do with specialty sized books. Okay, so uh, I still have a plan someday. I've only been saying for six months. I'm going to review these uh, Marvel Con 76 and DC Comics uh, 1976 Super Con. And, uh, and I'll go through them with you. But they're specialty size books and they require a specialty size board, kind of like I did uh, for these, uh, you know, the, the stamp books. And stuff you want to display, but you don't want to just put it in a full size board. And so I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay, basically, in making these little customized jobbers right here. Uh, essentially, what I like to do, it starts with a magazine style uh, bag. That's the one that I like. And uh, and there's probably other ways to do this. If you have your own way, feel free. Uh, just, you know, add your comment, show your video. I'll, I'll shout it out there. But basically, uh, these size books seem to fit well sideways into these magazine bags okay as you can see there it will fit so then what i do is i grab a brand new um current size board or really whatever you have is fine and uh and i i'll edit this to to, to shorten it a little but basically then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here to the opening and i'm going to eyeball it i'm going to put a little mark line there where i want to cut and then I'm using this divider because that's all I have here. But if you have a ruler, that's certainly, uh, that certainly would be better. And then uh, I'm basically, I'm just going to eyeball this up. And I don't have a problem if it's on a little bit of an angle. Okay, when I cut it, I'm going to take my little X-Acto knife. I'm going to come right through here. I'm going to give it a little cut. Not pushing too hard the first pass. We don't need to, to do anything crazy. All right, so now I have a board that should fit one direction or the other will be easier, but we just check it that it fits all the way in there. Certainly does. Then, because these are going to be for the display wall, I'm not worried about these fading. I just, I, I just love to see these things. So they're never going to be in a box. Um, I want the display to be nice. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the, the, the little book and I'm going to put it on my, my board here. All right, I'll try to make sure I'm, I'm focusing on this. So I'm going to put it on my board and I'm just going to mark it so that I got an equal amount hanging out at each side. I'll put a little mark right there. And uh, then the same thing. Now I've always been good at eyeballing this stuff. But if you're not good at eyeballing the stuff, then you measure it top and bottom. But I'm just going to eyeball it because I'm wanting to move quick. So we're going to uh, we're going to come down here. I'm going to give it one little test cut, and then another test cut, and um, we'll just give it a few passes there. And certainly enough, that's sharp as sharp can be. All right, and you see that sits nicely. All right, so then what we're going to do because that magazine okay you notice i'm putting my board back in there all right without the without the uh, little book on it and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and ultimately this is going to fold over okay like so and it's going to tape but you see this is real sloppy so we're going to shorten it a little bit all right and i'm just going to pick an arbitrary point that's somewhere in the middle, so I'm cutting a few inches off, okay? And I'm losing, certainly I'm losing my flap. And again, uh, this isn't hard to cut through. I'm just using the divider as a guide. Here I'm cutting my uh, divider a little bit, but that's okay. This is going to be our outer edge. doesn't have to be perfect, even though I have a OCD, and it'll be perfect later. I don't really have OCD, but I think I do. A little compulsive. Go figure. Okay, so then, now what I have is I have a bag that folds. I can tape it, it's perfect. So then I do another step usually and I create a flap, all right? 
So I'll put the divider in like so, okay, and it's just on one side. I'll try to get closer so the camera can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll put the divider in, which moves back and forth, but I'll be on this side, and sometimes I'll give it a little cut here, and then I'll move the board to the other side. I'll do a little cut here, just like a two inch cut, and then I will come straight across the middle, all right, and I'll cut it across, and what that creates is a flap, all right, but in this case, um, I don't have the flap. The, the only thing I don't like is if you don't have a flap, these edges tend to fold up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna, I wasn't gonna do a flap. I thought I'll just do a fast video. But if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you guys the whole deal. So nothing fancy here. I'm just going like a two inch cut along this one edge. Sorry, my hand's in the way, but I am a righty. All right, and then I'm gonna do a two inch cut. I'll try to turn it a little and do a two inch cut like along this edge and it doesn't have to be perfect we're re releasing some of the resistance here is all so when we make that fold okay and the divider really is just so I don't cut the, the plastic on the other side all right so now I'm gonna slide the divider so it's all the way up on one side all right I'm just taking off the inch or two inches, whatever I, I left there. Okay, and I got to this edge of this, so I stop. Now I'm gonna slide the bag over. Okay, and I'm gonna pick up right where I left off. I'm gonna come through there and cut the corner. So boom, all right. So basically what I removed is one single piece like that. And now I have a professional looking flap, just like you'd have on a comic bag, all right. So then we turn it over, so now we're facing the front. I'm gonna insert the comic book. And I always like to have the board um, so I can set the comic on the board, or in this case, the little magazine on the board. We're gonna slide that right on the board, get it nice and centered up. You know, of course, we can tap it and adjust it later, but uh, we'll get it in there. And then I'm gonna do my fold over And sure enough, I put my tape behind the tip of the day sign. Okay, which isn't going to cooperate. That's all right. That's what you get on a free channel. You get stuff that falls over. So we're going to tape that. And we're going to put a tape. I always use three pieces of tape. I know Alex likes to use the painter's tape. And uh, I think in the long run, that would be the smarter thing. But I find this tape to be cheap and uh, easily accessible. So now what we have is we have a boarded, little undersized book, but it's a custom made. Uh, and each one of these is gonna be a little bit different based on the size of the thing. Uh, let me grab one of the stamp books. So, but in the, in the grand scheme of things now, we put those up on the thing and uh, we'll, uh, boy, I don't wanna shake this too much, but we'll see. Uh, that these now look just like a pro did them. Whoops, sorry about my whole arm in there. I'm trying to make the video nice for you guys. So we got those up there. Looks like a pro did them, right? And if it's something you're going to look at every day, why not have it look nice? There's my Bud Light. And, uh, and so that's my two cents. That's Silver's nine minute tip of the day on bagging and boarding. This kind of kooky, crazy stuff that we all love anyway. All right, YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave. I am out. Hello, YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave. I have a, I'm gonna redo this video because I got a tip of the day and I didn't put out my tip of the day little card that's homemade. So we're gonna redo it. They need a piece of tape. So I got a million miles of tape. But I didn't use enough tape. So apparently, I'm conserving tape. Don't really need to. Okay.